Okay, this is a demo of the uh, modified, the DIY modded uh, Vortex controllers. Showing them working. Uh, this isn't of the mod, this is just showing them working. And I uh, just wanted to demonstrate that they're working. Uh, let's zoom in here to the um, business end of things. As you can see, uh, the wall warts are plugged into some outlets that are lit. Uh, there above the, the second one. You should also be able to see that the lights are on on both of the uh, Vortex controllers not blinking uh, Showing that the power is not being switched on Or off to the controller thus avoiding the code corruption issues that we had before there you can see now the uh, orange wall wart is lit up and uh, You may be able to hear the uh, pump switch each pump has its own kind of unique voice uh, or sound that it makes. And uh, let's widen out, uh, widen out here, and uh, we'll get a little closer to the tank so we can see what's going on in there. Uh, we want to see that that the things are happening the way we want. Uh, I've already noticed that the sand is staying put better with a higher setting. Um, because I'm able to switch switch them back and forth and uh, for some reason you know once a minute that's what I'm switching them using this uh, using the uh, Neptune's aqua controller 3 and uh, here's the tank you can see the left pump is on it just switched now the right pump is going now with this DIY you will have uh, the, the pump will stay on at its lowest setting which is actually very slow to keep your fish and keep your um, fish and uh, uh, shrimp and things from climbing in there. I've, I've lost several emerald crabs to my pumps. Um, I've got a couple that are missing a few legs, one that's got a busted claw. And so that, that'll keep them from climbing in there and uh, the thing's cutting on. Uh, anyway, so and, and the amount of water it puts out is, is very minimal. It actually goes very very slow with this mod you can see the um, The anemones and all the animals adjusting to the flow of Going uh, counterclockwise now around the tank. This is a 70 gallon reef ready And there goes the other pump kicking on Watch everything swap around, go in the opposite direction. Um, and I've got them switching once a minute. I apologize for the uh, the ceiling lights reflection in the in the tank there. This is kind of a a quickie. I'm not very good at this at this business of video making and and all. Um, so let's look at it from this angle a little bit. We can see what's going on. We'll let it switch one more time. I certainly could turn the pumps a little higher even, I believe. Really have more time to play with it. It, it uh, there it goes. kind of here is the flow reverse directions it kind of makes little waves on top and splashes the water around a little bit um, we've got uh, I've got a little more in store as far as the DIY to the this stock controller goes um, that'll be coming soon this is uh, I'm going to post a video of that doing the actual mod this afternoon also so I uh, hope you enjoy the, the DIY. I hope, hope this helps you to use whatever wave controller you have with your Vortex pumps because they really are great pumps. I like the wide flow. Uh, I really think they're a good product. They have minimal visual impact on the tank itself and uh, a small footprint inside the tank. I really do like the pumps and and um, I think this will just helps helps most of us to to have the, the pumps be more enjoyable and to do what we want. And I hope you enjoy the DIY.